The most famous Jewish wish, certainly around this time of year, is the Shana Tova Umtuka. We wish each other we shall have a good, sweet year. Many have asked the question, why do we have to say good, sweet year? If it's good, isn't it sweet? Usually we're not just saying words for no reason. Why, be, why the redundancy? The Rebbe explained once that I'm sometimes good and sweet are not synonymous. There's a, everything that comes from heaven is good. But some of that good comes down to us feeling good. Sometimes that good comes down to us feeling very painful. And you all know what I'm talking about. We all experience some pain through our life, some more, some less. But that too is good because nothing bad comes from heaven. The question is, why does this come, this good come as good? And why does some of God's goodness come as painful experiences? And it's based on Kabbalistic teachings who explain, the Kabbalists explain, that in fact, the good that manifests itself in painful experiences, it comes from an even higher level of good than the good that manifests itself in sweet and good and uh, painless experiences. In fact, good experiences. Why is that? You see, because everything comes from the spiritual world, from God. The, the spiritual world and the physical world are polar opposites. So the highest something is in the spiritual realm as it manifests itself and it comes down and travels down, trickles down into our world, the distance causes it to, uh, to not be able to manifest itself in its original form as good. So it becomes disoriented. It comes down here in, a, in an opposite fashion because this physical world is an opposite world than the, than the spiritual world. But when something comes from a much lower spiritual realm, so it's not that distant from our physical world to begin with, it's much closer to us, so it could manifest itself, albeit not as good as it was in the spiritual world, but still as good and, 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 and pleas pleasurable, pleasant experiences. So the, when it comes down as good, it means it's coming from a lower spiritual place. When it comes down as painful, all that means is that it's coming from an even higher level of good. Now, when we wish each other that we should have a good year around Rosh Hashanah, what we're saying basically is that the good that we get this year should be a good that is sweet. In other words, even if it means that it comes from a lower spiritual place, a lower level of good, we don't want that higher level of good that comes down and manifests itself in painful experiences. We want a good that is sweet. Shana tova umtuka. A good, but a, that, a good that is sweet. You're going to tell me, but it comes from a lower level? So be it. I'll take the lower level of good as long as it is ex feels good and it is meaningful, pleasurable experiences for us. And with that, I want to wish all of you a really a Shana Tova Mtuka, a happy and sweet good year, a year that's full of goodness. And as the high priest would say in Yom Kippur when he blessed the Jewish people, he would give them a blessing that encompass the whole Aleph base, the whole alphabet. I want to do the same and bless you all with a year of abundance, a year of blessing, a year of caring, a year of devotion, a year of empathy, a year of fortitude, a year of goodness and godliness, a year of health and happiness, a year of independent thinking, a year of joy, a year of kindness, a year of long life, a year of merits, a year of new initiatives, a new of opportunity, a year of opportunity, a year of peace and quiet, a year of redemption, a year of spiritual growth, a year of tranquility, and how much do we need that now? A year of understanding of one another, a year of victory, a year of wealth, a year of excitement, a year of yearning for more, a year of zest, a year that we reach the zenith of all our desires. May God wish grant you each and every single one of them in abundance in more than you can even imagine it should be good and it should be sweet Shana Tova and Ubuntuka and Shabbat Shalom